Hi everybody, Jake here. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, we're back with episode 5 of It's Coming Rome, the series where we try to take Lazio to the Champions League title in as short a time as possible. And to be honest, never thought it would go this well. We're in our first season here still. Like I say, only episode 5. We're in the Champions League quarterfinal second leg. And well, I'll tell you now, we're pretty much into the semi-final. Today should be a pretty much a walk in the park against Juventus. You can see in the top right corner, if any of you are eagle-eyed, we're 5-1 up already after a brilliant home leg. Um, so today, as much as I'd like to say there's a lot on the line, it should be quite a chill one. I hope to see a good performance. I want to show you how we've been doing in the league, the tactics, and as well as not just the league, the cup as well. I'm going to go into a very detailed look at the tactic today. I say very detailed. I'll just talk about the actual tactic that I made, including every instruction, blah, blah, blah. Because I had a few of you guys comment about the tactic and how it's so good. But yeah, um, we're on fine, fine for Manuel Lazari as our highest average rated player. We've got Chiro Immobile, who we kind of knocked in like episode two, three. But since then, he's just been pulling in with goals left, right and centre. We've even got players like Diego Costa, who has played a few times a season, but then when he's came on, has got his winning goals. So in, if you're actually thinking about the players, the team's not that good. But I think we broke football manager because we're winning everything, we could potentially win a Champions League. I almost hope we don't, because I don't want to do it in Season 1, but there's so much room to improve this team, yet we're doing so well. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because of all the old leader-style heads in the team. Maybe that's important in Football Manager. Or maybe, realistically, it's all down to dynamics, first season syndrome, all of that good stuff. But, yeah, let's let's get straight into it. You last saw Rose play Barcelona, where we lost 1-0, but did make it through after we battered them 4-1 in the first leg. Since then, we beat Roma away 3-0, Immobile, SMS and Gavi getting goals there. Gavi, the young 16-year-old, has started appearing in the first team every now and then when really we're just rotating the team after Champions League games because that is our priority. But we're just doing so well. Then we beat Sampdoria 2-1 at home with, again, our rotation team, Diego Costa, chipped in with a goal. We lost 3-1 to Torino with our rotation team, which I was a bit annoyed at, but you know what? We move on. It was Wilfred Singo, some random right wing back. I say random. He's actually very good and is someone that is probably on many wonder kid lists as a right wing back option and I've actually started scouting him and adding him to my shortlist because he scored against us in the first game with Torino and then he scored two goals from right wing back one of them was a stupendous volley so yeah he he, he was really good and that's the reason we lost that game we beat Milan 2-0 with Diego Costa getting a double for us he is just a backup striker but he's doing fine nine games started four goals 6.81 average match rating and he is a perfectly good option up top then we have the Aventus game, which I will show you the highlights of. So let me just move my face over to the left and we'll start looking at it. Okay, here we go. I actually played this match a long time before I'm recording this video, so I can't remember all the goals. So you'll be kind of watching them with me here. But it was, a, I do remember it being a real demolished job of Juventus. Like, obviously we are top of our league and doing quite well, but I didn't think we'd do this well against them. The team is outperforming themselves massively. Some of these players aren't that good. This was all pretty much down to a Mobley this game, I would say. I know Castrovilli, I think, chipped in with a couple, but... Yeah, uh, we, we were really dominant. At this point, I thought maybe Juventus would get back into it. A great goal from Chiesa there on that left-hand side for Juventus. They've got a very good team. And then Immobile went back, put, a, put his 3-1 up before half-time, and I started to think, you know what, we could do well here. Late on, Diego Costa with a flick onto Immobile. The two strikers playing brilliantly together. He chipped it over the goalkeeper, and I do remember that goal. Um, and I don't remember the fifth one, so I guess we're going to watch it together here. Correa, who must have came on off the bench, on the right-hand side, into Immobile. Chesney with some very poor goalkeeping. What was that, four from Immobile in that game? It was four from Immobile. I thought Castrovilli got two, but no. Immobile got four and Castrovilli got one. So, pure dominance, really. Outplayed them in every single way. We are probably the biggest team in Italy right now in terms of how we're playing. In terms of the league, even if Napoli win that game in hand that they've got, we're still six points ahead with only eight games to go. So, that will be something I do show in a video. Um, unless we randomly get knocked out here and we have plenty of time till the end of the season, I'll show you the Italian Cup and the final game of the league. But the chances are if we keep going in the Champions League, as I expect we will, because I don't see us blowing a 5-0 lead against Juventus, I think we will show the league win, but we won't show the Italian Cup against Juventus because uh, th there'll just be too many episodes in this very short period of time before the end of the season. Maybe if uh, some games are around each other, we'll show the Italian Cup as a second match in a video or we'll just show the highlights of it. I don't know what I'll do yet, but today should be a pretty easy one. I'm hoping for as many goals as we got in that Juventus game there. If you're looking at the other teams in the competition, we've got City and Chelsea, two of the biggest clubs in England in this save, at least it's the first season. Manchester City are first, Chelsea are third. They're both pretty good competitors. I wouldn't really want either of them in the next stage. We've got Inter Milan potentially knocking out Bayern Munich and Manchester United 
potentially knocking out Real Madrid, the fourth place team in England, are doing a pretty good job this season and you never want to play Manchester United in a football manager match. If anyone's played football manager, you know that. So let me quickly just switch my face back over to the right and we'll get into today's match. Okay, back over to the right hand side now and tactically, what have we been doing to make this system work so well? Well, it's not even that creative. There's no personalised player instructions, I'll tell you that much. It says Luis Alberto has got some on, but he doesn't actually. You know what, maybe I did put on some instructions. Let's have a look. So we've got a goalkeeper on defence duty, no additional instructions. You, you guys can see the roles and the positions here, but I'll let you know if I do see any individual instructions I have put on. It doesn't look like I have done. No, no individual instructions are on any of these players. So yeah, it all just comes down to, I guess, the tactical instructions that we have got on. This is the system we're playing. It shouldn't be that effective. These players aren't that great. At least most of them aren't. But we're doing a good job of it. Some of them aren't even like specialised for their roles, particularly the centre-backs aren't really specialised for these exact roles. Uh, Castrovilli is a decent messala. Linkovic Savic is a very good box-to-box -box midfielder. Other than that, you wouldn't really say anyone is specifically designed for this system. Maybe that's sorry. He is a pretty much out-and-out right wing-back, I would say. I know he can play right-back and right wing, but I think he does a pretty good job there. But um, yeah, it's a positive mentality in possession. This is what it's looking like. I won't tell you every single thing if you want to pause it and look yourself feel free but the idea is to focus play mainly down the flanks and not so much through the middle and then hopefully the strikers when we get to it we can work a chance take it so and I think that made the biggest difference in how we did things when I switched this to work the ball into the box we started taking our time with it not giving the ball away so much and did pretty well there uh, set piece wise we're not doing anything special either but here's what we're doing in transition feel free to take a look at it and here's what we're doing out of possession Nothing too massively different to what you would normally do in Football Manager. High intensity, high defensive line, but it's just we're really looking to expose these wing areas and get the ball into the box as much as possible. So it does come down to a lot how the wing backs are playing on the day. The centre backs aren't involved too much. I can't say we've been defensively amazing. I mean, if you look at average match ratings, the centre backs probably need a bit of work and a bit of individual instructions because the average ratings for the centre backs are nowhere near the levels of everybody else. Yeah, average rating wise, no one's really standing out as this amazing player. So I think we're just doing well in terms of how the team's functioning as a unit. And we've got a pretty nice run, I would say, in the league. The league should be pretty much winnable from here. The Cup, we could potentially win that in a one-off game against Juventus, as we've seen today. We beat them 5-1 at home, and if we can beat them away as well, it would really bode well for that match. But it's the Champions League quarterfinal, and hopefully, I'm pretty sure, we'll come out of this as winners, in case anybody is interested as well. If I go to, not schedule, what have I done here? Profile, stages, here we go, semi-final. This is who we would play. We'd be playing the winners of the other match that's playing today in Football Manager, and that's City against Chelsea. So either one of them isn't going to be ideal, but if we get past them, Champions League final on the horizon, who knows, maybe we can win it. Here's the team we're going for today, though, to win this individual match against Juventus. Hopefully just put out a good performance, keep morale up, and of course, we should easily carry ourselves into the next stage. We've gone for Strakosha in goal, who's been brilliant this season. Really surprised me how good he is in goal. We've got Aya, Akmen Hozic, Aserbi, Lazari, Anthony Robinson is getting a start at left wing back. He's done a really good job for us, to be honest. So thank you, Acorn, for forcing me to get a American player. It's really worked out for us in the end. We've got Castrovilli, Linkovic Savic, Louis Alberto, Shiro Mobile, and Osan Edward up top. And a pretty stacked bench too. No complaints there. Everyone that we really need is on the bench. Everyone is ready. So let's get straight into the game and hopefully have a nice victory where you see plenty of good goals. But it never really works out like that, does it? Okay, here we go. We are off in the match. And as we get started, I'd just like to ask you guys, if you do enjoy the videos, if you are enjoying the content on this channel, or you just want to be really nice, please hit that like button. It would really help in promoting these videos out to as many people as possible. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know how you think this series is going. Do you think we're going to win the Champions League first season? I don't know, but we might just do it. And if you want to get involved a little bit more, feel free to join a Discord linked in the description where we talk regularly. And yeah, it's a really nice community. We've almost got 150 members in there now. Everyone in, like, it's been popping off recently, to be honest. Like, the amount of conversations, I think there's even an online save going on at the minute or a draft. I don't really know what they've gone and done, but. That's what I mean. I've kind of taken a step back at this point and so many people are getting involved. It's just really nice to see. And finally, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We're getting so close to 3,000 subscribers. I was going to say 2,300, but thankfully we passed that quite a while ago. But 3,000 is the goal that I want to hit by the end of FM21. If we can do that, that would be amazing. We only need 150-ish more at the time of recording. So if you want to help out and hit that subscribe button, change your mind at any point, but it would really mean a lot to me. So far in this game though, Juventus did seem to have a chance quite early on, but since then, it's been pretty much all us. We've just hit the post two with Edward there. 
six shots, three shots on target, XG is doing fine, possession is not something that we really keep much of in this system, but this is exactly what we want to see really, and then in the second half, you know, we can add a few goals to it, should we need it. Juventus is not a bad team at all, or Zebra, as they're called in this, they've got a good squad of players, easily a better squad than what we've got here, but it's just working out for us really well with the momentum that we're running off currently, particularly in all competitions, it's just, you know, there's no like dud competition that's really affecting our morale, the fact that we're doing so well in everything, means that the wins are just keep on going. But speaking of wins keeping on going, maybe not here because Juventus have taken a one goal lead. I'm not panicking yet. I won't panic until it's like 5-3, 5-4 with 10 minutes to go. Good goal from Dybala. It's a good team. Juventus are fine. I, I can't really complain with anything going on. But if we can get an away goal here, it really would be completely sorted. There'd be no worries at all. It would really be stupid now, wouldn't it? If after all this time of bigging it up, we do go and lose here. But we're never going to lose when we got this guy up from Immobile, 27th goal of the season. Great play by Edward. The two strikers linking up perfectly. A really nice through ball through the defence. Immobile took a single touch, I think. Linkovic Savic always involved in these chances. The front four there, linking up so well together. One touch from Immobile, finished it to the side. I liked how Alberto got involved. I like how SMS got involved. The wing backs were creating space on the side to drag players out. As you can see, if we decided to go out wide, both wing backs here that I'm looking at, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but both of them are in plenty of space. So we're doing great. We're going into half time with a one. One draw, I thought. Yes, we still are. Rabio has missed his header, but so far, so good. Okay, here we go. Half time. And yeah, I, I know that I haven't been uploading too regularly at the minute because I have just started a new job. I mentioned it a few weeks ago. Still adjusting to the whole, you know, making videos on this channel, on FM Scout, having a life outside of it, having a job, but also trying to exercise, blah, 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 all the stuff that you want to do. Um, trying to get the balance right. So I will try and upload as regularly as I can do. But yeah, despite that, you guys have given this series so much love, so much support, and it, it, I'm just loving it. Every time I make a new series, I think this is going to be the one that flops, and you guys keep showing support. And speaking of support, Amoble does not need any in this game, does he? He's just taken one pass all the way from the defence from Robinson, made a brilliant run past the Juventus defenders, one touch, bang, into the corner. He is probably the best striker I've used in Football Manager, and that isn't an understatement. He has been amazing. And maybe Celso Jung was at a similar level with Lille last year, but... I don't think so. Um, Immobile is just a different class. Celso Jung at 31 years old might have been able to do what Immobile is doing here. But, you know, you, you can tell he's got experience. He's got class. What a player. 19 finishing. And you can really see that in game. Sometimes you can't tell with these attributes. You know, if he has 20 flair, you might not really see it. With Immobile's finishing, the way that he takes his chances in front of goals, he very rarely misses. And I don't really know why Juventus have gone for a standard 4-4-2 here, but it's not really worked for them. We should be getting a win. I'm going to save players, even if we do end up losing now, it doesn't matter because we're not going to lose a tie as a whole. So we'll just take off some of the key players, get them rested and bring some of the other guys on for a bit of football. So who we got? We got Correa on for Alberto. We can bring on Menino. We'll bring on Felipe at the back as well. We'll take a Serbi off for Radu. We'll bring on Armini. Why not? I don't even know who half these players are. I do, of course, but you know, just bring on whoever. We should be fine. So let's put them changes in and hopefully walk the match. 20 minutes left on the clock here and it's the first time I've actually really looked at this Juventus formation and they have been playing 4-4-2 the whole match but they've got like Kalevsky who's a brilliant like right-sided winger right yeah he is they're playing him central midfield they've got Kalini, Chiellini should I say at left back Alexandro at left wing I don't really know what's going on here Morata and Dybala at front I don't understand why Ronaldo wouldn't play a full match but we've honestly done amazing this game I hope that we can see it out with a win to keep that momentum going like I say, winning the Champions League is the aim of the series. I just don't want to do it so early. Are we going to get an Immobile hat-trick here, though? No, Chesney does make a good save, which he didn't do many of in that first leg, to be honest. He was pretty atrocious in goal for Juventus last time out. But as the minutes tick away, it looks like it's another win. We're into the next stage, and I want to see who won in that Chelsea-Manchester City game and who we'll be facing in the next episode, likely, in the semi-final. It was Manchester City with a pretty run-out 2-0 win. Speaking of Man City and Chelsea... Premier League season has just started. Chelsea got a win. Very happy recording this not too long after that. So, Chelsea, let's go. But um, yeah, we've, we've got plenty of money for winning that. £10 million put into the finances, which will help out a lot. They've just given me back 100% transfer revenue retained when we sell players, which is really good because originally it was like 65%. So I do need that if I want to, you know, if we do go into a second, third season and we want to change the team around. Um, yeah, brilliant, really. I, I don't really know what else to say. I, I, Of course I want to win the Champions League, but I, also, I almost don't want to so early on. I want to make it a hard work, but it's... When you've got someone like Immobile, as long as he doesn't get injured, we should be fine. But we've got Manchester City, who are first in the Premier League. It doesn't really get much harder than that. 
Um, they're doing really well by the looks of it this season, not losing many games at all. Walking Chelsea away from home as well there. Have they got anyone different in their squad? I can't imagine they do. Um, no, it's a pretty standard Manchester City squad. It's going to be worrying no matter what you do, isn't it? Even if they sold half their team, you're still struggling. But there we go. If my maths is correct, we shouldn't actually be able to win the league before the next episode. So I think the next episode will be this Manchester City semi-final. Hopefully after the home leg, we're still in with a pretty good shout. If we can do what we did against Juventus and Barcelona, where we just have a really good first leg and kind of live off of that, I'd be very happy. Even just a draw at home against Ma Manchester City. Who knows what could happen in the second leg, but... That'll be that for today's episode. Sorry about the long wait between episodes, but there should be the next one coming fairly soon. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to comment down below or join the Discord if you want to get involved more regularly. Thank you all for all the support on the series, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.